All right, so this is what we're unboxing now. So let's get to it. This is the mystery acrylic board. So I can see some spare LEDs here. <laughs> and if I open this like that, you guys will know right away what I'm talking about. So let me tease it a little more. We have some fit and some acrylic um, screws. What could this be? <laughs> It's a nice one, I must say. So we have some feet. Let's see. Do you guys want to take a guess? So it is the acrylic um, Alice. Actually, Alice. Yeah, so I, I bought an acrylic Alice. Too bad it doesn't have that shape, but at least the core is, is the same. Look at that. I mean, it sounds really beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. It has something in the back here. Um, I wonder why. <laughs> you are absurd. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at this baby here. And why don't we plug it in? So let me get this cable here. Let's see if it lights up. It doesn't apparently. And I think there is a, yeah, there is a, some, some stuff on the back um, to prevent it from scratching the acrylic. All right, let's open this. We get some foam. <laughs> oh, wow, is that a TGR? You, you, you can't pretend that well. Oh, it already has the feet. I was going to put the feet, but no need to do that. So let's see how do I open this guy. I think it's from the top. Yes, it is. That doesn't sound really good, very good. Oh, I forgot to put the music back on, didn't I? Guess what? I think we have a stripped. Yeah, this one will require a bigger. Bit to be unscrewed. Let me see. Yeah, much better. I don't like that noise very much.
So we do have the TGR logo here. Almost like a TGR, it's not quite TGR. And I wonder if we'll be able to see it when we, like this, right? No, like that. So hopefully when the LED shines through, we'll be able to see this logo, hopefully. So here's that crazy PCB. Mine is a little different, it seems. So TGR LS PCB 1.4. And uh, how thick are the, oh, the plate is pretty thick because it's, uh, it's an integrated plate. So I can give you the, the correct measurements here. I want to say it's five millimeters. It's saying 5.10, but I think it's five millimeters. Let me see here. Yeah, depending on where I measure, it says 5.2, 5.1. So around that. So yeah, I'm quite quite pleased with this since I wasn't able to get the proper Alice at least I get this consolation prize right yeah it has a spot for some LEDs here I think this is gonna turn out pretty cool when it's lit up. So what kind of software do I use for TGR? Do you know? Is it Gigon? Do you know uh, if you're still there? Uh, Arctic Fox? Trying to bring up Gigon to see if it connects. <clears throat> no, it doesn't, so it's probably not Gigon. Let me see. No, it isn't Gigon. So it's probably what? Boot bootloader? Boot mapper? Let me see if I can download Bootmapper real quick. Let's see here. TGRLS. So do you guys know if it's bootmapper? Let me download bootmapper regardless. Bootmapper client. Yeah, PS2 AVRGB, so it's probably bootmapper client downloading it uh, 
Not in anymore. How do I download this? Oh, download. Okay, so I'm starting bootmapper client. Um, see if I can share my screen. So yeah, I'm looking at bootmapper client. Uh, let me connect the board. There we go. Let's see if we can connect. Um, how do I? Connect, download, okay. Yep, it worked. So I bought, hey, Duke Nate 5 welcome by the way. So I bought 67, 65 grams. And the one that I liked very much was the 67 grams one. That was my favorite. Which ones did you get? Uh, how do you do LEDs with bootmapper? Mm, let me see, LED mode, RGB mode, okay. Let me put it on the first layer maybe. Function is here, of course. Yeah, that, that was my favorite. So I don't know how to uh, custom macro, quick macro, dual action. Okay, let me try to put it on function one, for instance. So one is gonna be here. Function one, let's do LE RGB mode. Oh, here. Yeah, right there. Let's see, RGB mode. There we go. So I'll have to swap, so to short, the function and the one to get that going. Let's see if I'm able to do that. Let's do upload. Yes. We grab two jumper wires. Let me short first the function key here. Let's see if I can also short one to see if we see any. RGB, no, nothing. Doesn't seem to be <laughs> working, the RGB. Oh wait, it doesn't have RGB, so we have to install the RGB LEDs. Okay, 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 so I guess we can do that. Give me one second, guys, I'm gonna get my microscope so we can solder those LEDs in place and give it a test, okay? Give me one second, I'll be right back.
All right, so I am back. Um, I have my microscope here in place. And we'll try something that I haven't tried in a while. So let's see if I am able to switch you guys to my microscope. Hold on. Let me see, microscope here. All right, so let me fix the focus here. There we go. Can you guys see the microscope well? So I think maybe we should tackle the ones here first. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. So let me bring this up a little bit so we can see the solder joints. Let me heat up my soldering iron. Let me get my flux. Do you guys like it? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to solder them all. Oh, and there is, a, there is a, even a component missing here. So they were very sneaky with this. So I'll try to do one on camera, one or two. And then I'll give you guys an update uh, when I have them all done. Okay. <laughs> hey, helpful human. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to take one of those out. So we can at least solder one of them or two. I don't know. Let's see how long it takes me to do one. All right. So I need to find the orientation. Oh, it's pretty. I think it's straightforward. So I think it's supposed to go in like this. Let me quickly. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like this because you see there is this marking here and it's very hard to reorient yourself with only the microscope. So you see it there and I think it's supposed to go in that way then. Okay, okay a little more towards the top. Here we go. Let me fix the light on this side so we can see all the pads. Move it a little bit up, a little bit down. You can see how easy it is to align those things, right? All right, so I see there are already solder on the joints. So let me try maybe a little bit further up. There. And a little bit to this side. I think we won't get better than this. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm adding flux now. I wanted to put it in place first. So we're definitely doing this pad first, and then this is gonna anchor the rest of the, the other pads. Let's see. Okay. Yep, it's held in place a little bit. So let's see if I can adjust it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I love it too. Like I, I love this thing. Okay, so we have one pad down and two to go. Three to go. 
And one thing that I need to figure out is how to stick the PCB in place because you can see when I'm trying to add flux, I move it around quite a lot. Oops, sorry. Just noticed it went off camera. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's uh, let's solder this other pad down here. Let me see if I can get a side view to see if it's soldered well. Yeah, seems like it's fine. Let's do the other two legs. Let me just check if I did a good job. Ugh. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but I want to touch the top of the of the pad and the bottom to see if they're connected. So bear with me while I try to bring it back to camera. I think my thing is a little too large for this kind of work, but it seems like, let's see. It's cool, right? I love this. Okay, it seems like everything is fine. I, I still wanna have like a side view of this. Let's see if I can get a side view, hold on. I think it's it's fine. Yeah. Maybe this pad here, let me sorry. I wonder yeah, do you see this pad here? I don't know if it's if it's very good. Let me let me add a little bit more solder to that one right there. Hold on. This, uh, which one is it? This one here? Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more solder. Okay, seems like we're good now. Okay, all right. Um, so the next thing I want to do um, before I do the other LEDs is try to solder this guy. So very same idea here. Let me just see the orientation. So we need to align, let me get my tweezers. So can you guys see that we have a little circle here? 
So the idea is that we align the circle on the chip with that circle right there. So let's see, right there seems to be good. Let me add flux to the top left or top right pin. Like that, and I did move the chip. That's what I didn't want to do. Okay, so now if we go in and just slide, yeah, uh, that's a poor job. I should have held the chip in place. There's not enough solder, fuck that. Did you get it? Yeah, we got it. But it's still misaligned, so let me see. Yeah, much better now. Okay, all right. Let's do the opposite pin. Not that guy, not that guy, this guy. Now I think we can add flux to all of the pins. Ah, what did I do? Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so now it's pretty firm. We can do the other ones. Oops. Oh, you did all this to your Alice as well? That, I didn't expect to have to do it. Okay. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. And I get to use my microscope. I think it's fine like this. Should be fine. Okay, let's do the other side. So you did all this without a microscope, I'm assuming.
All right, I think we are pretty much done with this microchip. Let me see here. Yeah, and I think we have all the pads properly soldered. Nice. Uh, let me turn this quickly on to see if this LED here will light up. Hold on. It does not. But again, the LED may be down, may be off. Yeah, I'll have to do that off stream. But I think that the microchip itself is soldered properly. At least I don't see any problems with the pads. And this LED is also... And again, I don't know if it's gonna work until I have all the LEDs soldered, right? Let me check your... Yeah, that's what I thought, bad news. Oh, and I hate that Chrome is making your Alice as big as it can. So let me see, zoom it out. Uh... Oh, wow, yeah, that's that's a nice Alice. No comparison with my poor man's Alice. All right, guys, I just wanted to show off my mic a little bit. I think I'll do the rest of this out, out, you know, off camera. Um, anything else you guys want to see before I finish the stream? Oh, one thing we should do is clean this up at least. That's good practice. Oh, my alcohol is not here. So I'll have to do that off stream as well. Thank you, the City of Night. And I will try to do more of those microscope soldering things. I think they're pretty fun. But anyways, thank you guys. Let me bring you back to the top view. Not this one, Felipe, this one. So you can see my mouth here. <laughs> <laughs> um, what tiny 40% is on your top shelf in the back? Okay. Uh, which color? Black and purple caps. This one here? This is a Daisy 40. So. If you want to build something similar, it doesn't take a lot of money. I mean, except for the keycaps, which are pretty expensive. But this is a Daisy 40. And I must say, I love this board. And I have, I think I have, let me see if I can push it towards the bottom. There we go. So let me, so this guy have, I think Retool Blacks, let me, it, it has these things here. So I love this keyboard, this little keyboard. So I think it's under $100 if you want to buy one of those. I think it's $97, this whole kit. I have two of them. I have this. And I have this guy as well that's how much i love them so i have this in um silver and with the gmk tarot ter ter tarot i don't know that gmk and this one with gmk laser yeah so you can see how much i love this keyboard <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I like them. And I think they both have retooled blacks, uh, but this have lighter springs than this one. I think, and different lube as well. All right. Anything else, Duke? Anything else, guys? De nada, cara. Imagina. Prazer.
All right, I'll catch you guys on stream. Oh, and I plan on building the LS pretty soon because I want to use it desperately. Uh, so I will decide which switches I will use. I'll loop them and then we'll build it together. How does that sound? All right. Thank you, guys. You guys also have a good day. And I'll see you guys on Discord or on my next stream. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.